my youtube channel or welcome if you are new hi my name is nikki and i post a variety of different types of videos on this channel but today as i'm sure you guys can already tell from the title i'm going to be doing a hamster video and i'm going to be talking about 10 hamster products that i couldn't live without these are the 10 products that i feel like are essential kind of to have a hamster and that if you are getting a hamster or if you're just looking into you know what it takes to get a hamster and what I personally really like to give my hamster then keep on watching just everything that is my favorite so let's go firstly I do just want to say one more thing before we actually get into me showing you all of my products that are my favorite I do just want to say Victoria Rachel is the hamster youtuber that I first saw do this video and a lot of you guys have been recommending me to do this so if I am talking about a lot of the same things as she did I'm not trying to copy her at all I'm literally just talking about the things that I really use and really like and as hamster owners and both of us are hamster youtubers I guess you, know, you are gonna have some of the same favorite things because if they are really that good then a lot of people will probably like them so I just want to point that out there and yeah so let's go this is gonna be in no particular order or anything I guess the first thing I'm gonna start off talking about is this sand bath so I believe this is a KT corner little litter pan. So this is actually normally used for guinea pigs and rabbits and things like that who have um, litter pans that they actually use. However, um, I, don't, I think I did talk about this a little while ago, but if you missed it, actually I ordered this a couple years ago. I think I put it on my Amazon wish list, thinking it was hamster size, like the small size. Turns out it was guinea pig size, so I hadn't really used it. And then I just found it and I was like, this would be a really good size for a hamster sand bath. And I really like how it is corner, so I can put it in any of the corners and it won't waste any space like maybe a circular one would. And Rhino loves digging in here. He like literally bathes in here every single day and he has his little corner for peeing. I don't know if you guys can see that. But literally he there's always pee there and I always have to take it out. Sorry, that was kind of TMI. This is definitely my favorite along with the sand, which I would recommend using child play sand. That is what most people use and it's really good for your hamster. So hamster sand baths are a must if you're going to get a hamster. They just really enrich your hamster's life and your hamster will love digging in it and bathing in it. And yeah, hamster sand baths are definitely one of my favorite hamster products. So the next product I'm gonna be talking about goes along with that, and it is this mesh strainer. So I actually talked about this in my hamster supplies you can find at the Dollar Tree, which is actually where I found this. Came in a pack of two, and this is what I use literally every single day to just get out all of the seeds, poops, the peas, and everything out of this sand bath. Uh, another use for this actually that I didn't talk about is that whenever I'm washing Rhino's wheel in my sink and I take it out and there's like a bunch of random gross stuff floating in the water, I actually go through the water and kind of scoop it out so it doesn't all go through my drain and clog that up. So that's another use for these. Seriously, these are amazing. I'm not sure what other people use to scoop out things from their sand bath, but if you're going to have a sand bath, then you need something to clean it with. Again, you guys can just find these at the dollar store or the 99 cent store if you don't live in the US. The item after that I'm going to be talking about is this cork log or just wood log. I'm not sure if it's cork. It's just like driftwood. And I got this at Petco, um, I believe a couple weeks ago. It's actually one of my fairly newer hamster items. There's like a bunch of sand and different food and bedding and stuff in it right now because it's actually in Rhino's cage, but I just took it out for this video. And I really liked this because not only does it give the cage a really natural look, which is definitely something that I know a lot of people are going for lately. I'm really trying to naturalify my cage and go to sprinkle feeding or scatter feeding. I just think that this not only it can really, like I said, it gives your cage a really natural look, but your hamster can climb on it 
you can what I do sometimes is I actually like hide treats in the little crevices and so that can be a really good boredom breaker thing for your hamster you can put bendy bridges on it you can actually use this as a barrier in your cage between like a sand area maybe if you don't have a sand bath but you have like a little sand area in your cage and then like normal bedding or just a barrier in general for whatever you need it for or you could like prop it up like this I don't want to do it because I know like there's like sand seeds and stuff in here but you could prop it up like that and maybe look at make it look like a tree I don't even know there's so many different things you can use this for you can kind of make your hamster feel like it's in the wild a little bit so like I said you can get these at Petco and they're fairly cheap so if you just want to give your hamster something really cool it also looks just awesome in the cage definitely recommend a little piece of driftwood hopefully I'll be getting more of this soon off of Amazon or something because I really like these the next item are I'm sure all of you guys knew these were gonna be in the video bendy bridges I have like five of these six I don't even know I have so many of these because you can do so much with bendy bridges. These are definitely an essential when it comes to owning a hamster in my opinion because almost every single hamster owner has one. So if you're gonna get a hamster, get a bendy bridge. And here is why. So obviously you can use it like this, make it look like a bridge. Your hamster can climb up it, they can climb on it. You can go put it like this, they can use it as a tunnel. If you put it up against the back of the cage, it can kind of work as a little hideout for your hamster if they like hiding under things like this. What I do sometimes also is I will use it as a barrier like I was talking about with the driftwood. This I think would actually work as a little bit better of a barrier between a higher area with more bedding and then a lower area with less bedding, which is what I use it for sometimes. You can like layer them like this. There's so much you can do, just seriously, they are great. And of course your hamster can chew on them if it pleases. Uh, my old hamster, Teddy, actually, uh, by the way, if you have not watched my hamster journey video, definitely go watch that. I will link it up here. I made two parts, but part one is when I talked about Teddy. He was my hamster that chewed on everything, if you don't remember that video. And he chewed on this one a little bit. They last forever and they can make your cage look really cute. Like, if you put that in, it's really colorful. So yeah, bendy bridges are a must. Next thing I am going to be talking about is also something probably most of you guys were expecting, but it is just this wooden wheel. I also have other ones with like this and they are eight inches. And this is of course, like I just showed you guys, this is my 11 inch one that Rhino uses. So Woda wheels are seriously my favorite wheels ever really. I have never gotten another wheel besides from some silent spinners in the past. But these are seriously amazing. The eight inches work great for dwarves, robos. I'm not sure about Chinese. I know that they used to be suitable for Chinese. So I would just say Chinese for now. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But Chinese hamsters would also do very well with an 11 inch. And then Syrians, of course, need the 11 inch wheel. So if you are planning on getting any of those types of hamsters, definitely get your hamster the right sized wheel. These, by the way, some people were asking me where you can get these and I ordered mine off of Amazon, but you can also get them at a website called Exotic Nutrition. If you type it into Google or Safari or Amazon or something, it'll come up and you can choose the ones that you like. They are so durable. They come in, as you guys have seen, a variety of different colors depending on what you like and what gender your hamster is, even though it doesn't really matter. They do have a slight whir, but if you oil the axis, it becomes nearly silent. It's really just the sound of my hamster's paws on the actual wheel itself is what makes me not have Rhino in my room because it's just too noisy at night. Um, but overall, I really, really love these wheels. I actually need to wash Rhinos right now. It's a little bit messy. Once you get the hang of washing it, it's so easy to wash. You just pull out the axis, take all of the parts apart. By the way, if you, I keep like plugging my own videos, I'm sorry, but if you want to see a Woden wheel review, I will put it up here. And I talk all about Woden wheels in that video and how to clean them and whatever. So yeah, Woden wheels are my favorite type of wheel. So definitely recommend getting one of these 
or another suitable sized wheel. Again, for you new hamster owners, you always want to have a solid area for your hamster to run on. You don't want to have one of those wire mesh wheels that have the grids on them that can cause a infection called bumblefoot on your hamster and it's just painful for them. So get your hamster a wheel like this. And if you have a wire mesh wheel, you can actually put like tape, cardboard and things like that over to cover it. So sorry, that was kind of a rant, but I love me some Wodent wheels. They are amazing wheels. So along with the Wodent wheel, this is not actually like one of my 10 things I'm going to be talking about, but definitely if you are going to have a Wodent wheel, get yourself a popsicle stick platform. I made mine personally out of popsicle sticks. It just looks like this. And I always put this under the wheel because the wheel itself is kind of close to the bedding. So it does have the potential to get a lot of bedding in it if you don't make it a little bit of a platform of some kind. Again, for you new time hamster owners or even if you have a hamster already, popsicle sticks are your best friend. You can make so many different DIYs out of them. Seriously, you can make like anything. Popsicle sticks are amazing. Back to the top 10 things. So this is, I, I say this for all of them because they're all my favorite, but in terms of chews, Whimsies takes the cake, man. Like Whimsies are amazing. If you've been watching any hamster videos, you probably know Whimsies are the thing when it comes to hamster chews. Look like this, they come in orange, yellow slash tan and green. They're actually dog chews if you're wondering, but I seriously have never had a hamster that doesn't chew on whimsies. Like all of my past hamsters have loved chewing on them and they're actually the only chew that my hamsters will use. Some of my past hamster, like I said, he would chew on anything, but I know a lot of hamsters won't chew on wood. So if you have picky hamsters like I have had, Get yourself some whimsies like this. I use the extra small and Rhino will go through one of these things in like one night or two nights. So you can take it out of their cage and kind of give it to them gradually or whatever you want. Only con about these is that they are kind of expensive. I believe I got this from Petco for like $20, but it depends on where you get them. Sometimes Some websites are cheaper than others, so just search around for where you can find them. These are definitely something to get for your hamsters. I mean, I'm not saying you're wasting your money if you get wood chews, but these I would almost guarantee you that your hamster would at least nibble on and wood. For me, my hamsters don't normally chew on that, but again, every hamster is different. Along with food, I'm just going to be talking about my top three, well actually these are just, these I'm all considering one and then I'm gonna be talking about another treat as another one. So the reason why I'm talking about all of these as one is because all of my hamsters have had different preferences on their favorite treats. So I just kind of thought I would talk about that a little bit. So what we have in here is just sunflower seeds. These are Rhino's all time favorite treat. Whenever I open up his cage at night, I always give him at least one or two sunflower seeds and he loves these. Sometimes I'll offer him other little treats and things and he won't necessarily take them, but he will always take sunflower seeds because they are his favorite. So if you have a Syrian hamster, look into getting yourself some sunflower seeds if your hamster likes them. And then about my past hamsters, I believe Smudge and Little Bear, they were both dwarf hamsters, winter whites, and they, especially Little Bear, loved these two things. And these are also things that I would recommend putting into your hamster's seed mix if they like them. So what I am talking about are these millet sprays. I actually got these at Ace Hardware, but I'm sure you can get them at most pet stores and they're just plain millet sprays. They're actually marketed for birds, but hamsters also like them. Uh, Little Bear would always eat these and I would always add them into his seed mix. So these were definitely some of his favorites. And I also just put one of these sprays in Rhino's cage as well and he's been slowly picking at it a little bit. Millet sprays are great treats. They're very healthy as well. Especially dwarf hamsters, if you're getting a dwarf, definitely recommend these. And then another treat that my dwarf hamsters have loved are mealworms. So it looks like this. Again, it is marketed towards birds and I got it at Ace Hardware. And this is a really big bag, but these are just dried mealworms. 
these were little bears i think they were like his favorite treat and so if you're gonna get dwarf again really look into getting some mealworms personally rhino he is a syrian he does not really like these too much he doesn't really love the millet but he will pick at it so it's your hamster's preference but i just thought i would kind of throw these things out here for those of you guys that are getting hamsters robos not sure about any of these things, but I'm sure that if you buy them, you could at least try to give them to your hamster and see what they like and what they don't. The next treat that I'm gonna be talking about is this Gerber Baby Puffs. So this is something else that I know Victoria Rachel has talked about a lot in her videos, but Gerber Baby Puffs, these things are amazing because for one, they're cheap. They're marketed towards babies as like little treats and they just look like this and they're seriously like so small. They're 100% safe for your hamster. Rhino does enjoy chewing on these. He doesn't take them from me every time. They're not his favorite on like the sunflower seeds like I was talking about. You can give your hamster like, I wouldn't say a lot of these, but you can definitely give them more of these than some other types of treats like really sugary treats like yogurt drops. I would not suggest giving your hamster a lot of those, maybe one or two a week, but these you can give your hamster every night. They're literally like puffed air and they have like a little bit of flavor. They're really low in sugar, which is great for your hamster because you don't want your hamster getting like overweight because that could hinder its health. Rhino likes them and they smell so good. And also you can eat them if you want to. I've had a couple myself. So the next product, by the way, like everything's sitting over here, so I'm like grabbing it, but the next product is this gate. It's kind of, um, I'm sure you guys have all seen it, but it's like a little playpen. It is a KT playpen. And I just thought I would throw this in here as a hamster supply I could not live without because seriously, like I use this, I wouldn't say all the time, but whenever I take Rhino out and play with him, on the floor or something. I always get out my two KT play pens and make up a nice big size play pen that he can run around in. I don't know, I always, I just need a play pen for Rhino. Also, you can use your bathtub if you didn't know that. Play pens are great. You can just let them run around when you're cleaning the cage. This is pretty essential for me. I don't use it all the time just because I don't let Rhino run around in a play pen all the time, but definitely would be something I would look into if you want to let your hamster run around so gotta be safe don't let your hamster run around if he could potentially get stuck or something the last product in this video is hamster bedding so of course this is 100% essential if you're gonna get a hamster you need to have bedding and try to make sure that you have an area in the cage that is at least six to seven inches so your hamster can burrow this is my favorite hamster bedding, at least for burrowing. I used to use Carefresh for years. Like I seriously, like that was my thing. I would always use Carefresh, but I recently switched and became a KT clean and cozy girl. The reason why this is my favorite is because not only is, I think it's cheaper than Carefresh, but the main reason is because it will hold your hamsters burrows in place a lot better than Carefresh will and it will allow them to burrow a lot easier I would say. Also it's just really soft. This is just my overall favorite. It spreads really easily so you can get a lot out of this bag. I wish it came in more colors. Don't get the scented if you new to hamsters. Don't ever get the scented because that can really their respiratory systems like I think they have a scented lavender so I would not recommend getting that but this is definitely my favorite bedding and something I could not live without. Anyways, you guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know that I got a lot of requests to do this video, so I hope I didn't disappoint. I did see all of you guys' video requests on one of my recent posts on my hamster Instagram. Speaking of, if you're not following it already, go follow my hamster Instagram. It is at fuzz.ball.hams on Instagram and I post a bunch of hamster updates, hamster pictures, and things like that on there. And I recently asked you guys what videos you would like to see, and you guys gave me a lot of responses and a lot of good video ideas. So I definitely have a lot of things that I can film in the future for you guys. Yeah, that is it for this video, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.